Today, these firefighters are gonna smoke these state troopers. So buckle up, it's gonna be lit. Mm-hmm. See what I did, lit, buckle up, get it. I don't get it. First event, 200 meter kayak, grab your paddles. Come on, let's go, come on. 200 meter kayak, around that cone, we have fire over here and we have state trooper over here. Are y'all ready? Yes. Yes. Three, two, one, go! Let's go, Sarge. And they are <laughs> off. Come on, Rita. Rita, this is her first time kayaking. My name is Rita Riddle-Bigler. I work for the Phoenix Fire Department, and I'm here for a competition. I've never been in a kayak before, so this could be interesting. <laughs> I'm Dawn Carpenter. I'm here with the Pennsylvania State Police. Dawn Hick is going to get around the cone first. The kayak competition is something that none of us really have any experience in doing, so I think it's a good, fair event to start off the day. If they each score a point, we'll go into a sudden tiebreaker. Rita, Phoenix Fire takes the point here. Now time for the men, go. Come on, Long. Go, Austin. How do you think Austin's gonna do? I think he's gonna do good. My name is Austin Moreland. I'm here with the Phoenix Fire Department. Today we're competing against the Pennsylvania State Police. I hope it's intense and fierce and competitive. Don, how do you think Clint's doing? I hope he's gonna do well. I'm Clint Long, State Trooper with the first and finest law enforcement agency in the nation, the Pennsylvania State Police. We're gonna show them why we're the first responders and they're second responders. Come on, just Run. sprint back, neck and neck. Kayaks would be something different, not something I do every day. I don't think I've ever done it before. So we'll see how we pan out with it. Boo! Woo! Clint takes the dub. State troopers win this round. We have a point for each team. Well, obviously we have to tie the break. We have to break the tie. So we're going to sudden tiebreaker. <laughs> on my command to go, you can see. That was just his warm up lap. So he's ready now. Go. Come on, Austin. Both teams have decided to send the gentleman again. Whoever wins this takes the point for this event. Like Clint's gonna make it to the cone first, but he's slow his momentum. Clint is uh, probably five up. or six feet in front of Austin. This is all about pull strength. He's tired! State Troopers take the point. Congratulations, you scored two points for that one. So State Troopers walk away with one point for this event. We have four events left, which you're gonna wanna stick around for. We have the log care, we have the med ball toss, we have the grit gauntlet, and we have the donut mile, which you're gonna love that one. It's okay. My, my mouth is so dry. Right? Next event. Log well, carry. Firefighters might have us on that one. That's, that's their bread and butter. Yeah, if we could get a heavier log, that'd be great. So far, State Troopers, one point. Phoenix Fire, zero. This is the log carry. Your goal is to have all four logs on the other side and the first team back here win. Two people on each log. We have two 140s and two hundreds. Two, one, go. All right. Before this one right here. State Troopers are going for the 141st. So is Phoenix Fire. <laughs> oh, drop it. Don't smash no, any. Run towards me, run towards Don't me. smash anything. I typically do a lot of lifting and cardio for my training. I want to make sure I'm prepared in all aspects of my physical fitness. Please don't smash your legs and don't smash your hands. Those logs are heavy. So far, Phoenix Fire yeah. has one. Make sure they stand up. stand up. Phoenix Fire, one log. State Troopers, one log. Sprinting back. The log carry, I think it's gonna be a good event. I think it's gonna be challenging and exciting all at the same time. Teamwork, teamwork. Oh, are you good? No. This can be about speed, so if you guys are fast, use it to your advantage. <laughs> Lifting heavy things, running fast, I love it. You guys, let us know in the comments which events you would like to see. It can be something you completely make up, or it could be an event seen somewhere else. Phoenix Fire, still in the lead, now for the 100 pounds. State Troopers got a few feet to catch up. Can their endurance prove to let them win? Oop. Neck and neck, this is their third logs. Right here. Stand them up. All logs must be across. Jump, 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 jump. Go, go. State troopers land first. Going for their last log. Phoenix Fire right behind. Firefighters are trying a different approach on this one. This is the last log. Remember, first team back here. The starting point wins. Gun it out, gun it out. Look at Chief Bigler's calves. PSP wins Phoenix right behind. All of these events so far have been extremely close. Three events left, you're gonna wanna stick around. State Troopers take it home for the second event, the log carry. So far, two points, but there's still plenty of room for you guys to catch up. We have three events left. Event number three is called Battle Ball. Your job is to standing power throw behind you and gain ground on the opposing team each time. First person to get the ball past either line wins. All right, on my command to go, you're gonna proceed. You're gonna to sprint to the ball. First one to touch it gets the throw first. Three. Two, one, go! Oh, fire's coming in hot. State Troopers coming in hot. Who's gonna touch it first? Oh, that was fire. Oh, that was so close. All right, fire throws first. Clint, you gotta get it as far away from that point as possible. So we'll have the men throw first and the women. 
like two feet further than Clint. Chief Bigler. All right, Don's turn. There it is. Out of way, out of way. Oh, okay, okay. All right. So you guys good. notice that the ball rolls a little bit, so that means you may need to throw it a little bit more linear. So far, State Troopers got about three feet. I think we're gonna be able to take that one and we're gonna dominate on the med ball toss. On the firefighters, we may be here for a while. Yeah, med ball toss, I think that's gonna, you know, a lot of what we do in the fire service, explosive movements, using our legs, using our core, working above our heads. I think those police officers are used to sitting in a car all day long, so I think the med ball toss is gonna be a bonus. Oh, back past the second line. <laughs> Oh. Come on, Donnie, come on. Slippery sucker. So one slip up for fire. Can Austin defend? That was a good nice. one right there. Nice, that was good really roll. Good. State troopers so <laughs> close to the end. So state troopers have gained some ground on the, on the firefighters. Score for the day there is two is. for the state troopers nice. and zero for fire. So fire really needs <coughs> this point. If you enjoy these videos, y'all, please click like. It's free. You're already here. Thanks very much, love y'all. Is that it? Is that it? That game. Oh. State Troopers take the game point. Man, that took about 25 minutes out here. Three points for you guys. Great job today. Zero points for y'all so far. You have two events left, y'all. Good job. Yes, yes. 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 I was waiting for you guys to get tired. We can't get tired on this line of work, no. so. Next up, we have the grit gauntlet. Event number four, let's go. We have a series of static holds. First off is the bar hang. Second off, we have the plate hold. Third off, we have the plank. So the team that takes two points from this event will score an event for the entire grit gauntlet. When I say go, you will jump and mount the bar and the last team on the bar wins. Three, two, one, on the bar. Now Clint is, he's 6'4 in person, but he's 6'5 on Tinder. So he has to pick his feet up. I'm just kidding, he's happily married and his wife is a very nice lady. Please don't get mad at me. So he's gotta pick his feet up. Austin over here has a little bit of skin from the, the battle ball. How you feeling, Clint? Wonderful. You're really focused right now. How you feeling, Chief Bigler? Great. Okay, I'll stop talking now. Focused, focused, focused. My style of training is, I, we always call it firefighter fit. So that's a lot of stuff that's like HIIT training, CrossFit training, anything that you do a bunch of different um, types of, of physical activity, running, hiking. So Clint is about 230 pounds. He's the heaviest one here. And then we have Austin, he's 200 pounds. And then we have Chief Bigler at 190 pounds. <laughs> the lat hang, it's gonna take some grip strength and some upper body strength. We'll see how I can muster it out. <sighs> Chief Bigler's down first. You gotta hang on for Phoenix Fire. You got it, Austin. Don't drop, Austin, you got it. Pretty good. Ugh. Austin down. State Troopers win it, both on the bar. Hey, just because they took the point from the bar hang does not mean they're gonna take the point for event. The next event is the plate hold. Let's do it. Women are gonna have 10 pounds, men are gonna have 25 pounds. You just hold it up straight. Y'all can go ahead and take control of your plate. When I say go, you're gonna bring them up to shoulder level. As soon as you drop them past vertical, you're out. Now you can hold it as high as you want. Three, two, one, up. Perfect. I just wanna say thanks to State Troopers and the Phoenix Fire for coming outside of their comfort zone and challenging themselves. And if you feel inspired by these videos or these men and women in uniform, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much. Everybody looking good. State Troopers looking good. Clint's focused. Clint's got a little knee bend going on here. Austin, keep those arms up. There you go. This is a great workout for the front delt, y'all. Austin, you have a great time? Having a great time. Good. Clint, how you feeling? Never been better. Don't drop it, don't drop it. Keep those arms straight. Good. Don's looking great. Chief Bigler's looking great. Austin, keep the arms up. Don't. Keep the arms up, keep the arms up, and keep the arms out. Keep the arms up, keep the arms out. <sighs> Keep the arms out, Austin. Come on. All right, you're done, you're done, you're done. Clint's out, Austin's out. The two women remain. Come on, Donnie. Don and Chief Bigler, they were fighting off cam earlier and I had to split them up and they were fist fighting. We don't promote violence. Don is rock solid, not moving. Looking good, Chief. Remember, they can pick it up as far as they want to, as far as they can, just as long as they don't drop it below parallel. Don's looking good. You got it, come on, come on. Solid, solid. Come on, Chief. Stay steady. Don't fall below vertical. Stay steady. Oh my God. All right, Chief. 
Dawn is the last one standing. She's like, I'm still gonna hold it. State troopers take the grit gauntlet. So that's an additional point. So you guys have four points so far, Phoenix Fire. You're sitting at zero, but we still have one event left, which is the donut mile. I expect you guys to win because you know, donuts and stuff. But number five, we have the donut mile. This is something brand new that we've never done on the channel before. We have eight donuts total, four donuts must be consumed per team, and each person has to run two laps. However you divvy up the donuts, it does not matter. Well, if you guys have to throw up, you can throw up on me because it'll make for a good video. Three, two, one, go. Both gentlemen are off. They're just enjoying them. Look at this, this is great. I might rely on Clint to eat more than what I would eat. I might eat as much as Austin, so it'll be hard to tell. Both gentlemen, neck and neck. Come on in, Clint. You might, they might go for two laps. Nope, all right, ladies are off. We can, we can eat when we're running, right? Chief Bigler's eating yeah. the donut while she's running. This is crazy. You just flatten it down like that? So we have a uh, state trooper strategy over there. He just smashed two donuts together and he's just, just dominating them. And you got Austin over here, tearing the donuts apart. Good strategy on both parts. Breathe through the nose, gentlemen. Please don't choke. My goodness gracious, Dawn has completely taken off on Chief Bigler. Dawn's coming in hot. Oh, she's got that pro runner breathing going on. Boom, Clint's off, still eating the donuts. The donut mile is crazy, y'all. Let us know what you think of this exercise. He tags off. <laughs> Still have the donut in your mouth. This is a, a good way to replace glycogen. You know, this is a very productive workout. Y'all have three down so far, and I've almost completed three laps. Okay, state troopers have a good strategy. Clint's just manhandling the donuts, just smashing them together. I believe two have been eaten so far for Phoenix Fire. By the time that Austin gets back around, Chief Bigler's gonna have that, that one eaten as well. Come on, oh, Clint's still got the donuts. Still holding the donuts. <laughs> Dawn is off. Oh my God. Is it really that hard to eat donuts while you're running? Come on, Austin. Austin still got the donut in his hand. I got mine Tag in my Chief hand. Bigler. <laughs> Chief Bigler has a full donut in her grasp. If you guys would love to be in one of my YouTube videos, please click the link in the description. It looks like the state troopers are gonna take this one because Dawn's coming back and Clint just dominated those donuts. Five points for state troopers, zero points for Phoenix Fire. Thank you guys so much for coming out here and putting it all on the line. Dawn makes it back. All right, so Clint has three donuts so far. Chief Bigler finishes. State Troopers win. If you like this video, you're gonna enjoy this video right now. Thank you so much, guys, for coming out, and thank you guys so much for watching. Austin Alexander, see you next time.